What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. Today we're going over how to interact with OpenAI's Assistant API. This essentially lets you create a custom GPT that you can interact with via API. Now a few caveats before we get started. Firstly, this is building off of a previous video I made called making your first API request to OpenAI or something like that. I'll have it linked in the description. I recommend checking out that video first because that gets some of the basics that we're using in this set up. Secondly, you do need a paid account to use OpenAI's API. I put 10 bucks on my account back in like November or December and I've just been coasting off that. As long as you use like GPT-40, GPT-40 mini or a similarly priced model, 10 bucks should last you a long time. Some of the newer models like O1 Pro I have literally a 1,000% increase in price over 4.0 Mini, so that, if you're using those, might not last you quite as long, but if you use GPT-40, 4.0 Mini, should be fine. And then thirdly, I'm going to assume you have some basic knowledge of JavaScript or Node, because I'm not going to get into like the super basics of how this works. Now, let's look at this little overview chart of how this works. So for our little test scenario here, we're gonna assume we're making an assistant that's gonna serve as a customer service chatbot that we will plug in on John's home services website. So first thing we need to do in our backend, we would create an assistant. This would have the system prompt of something like, you are an expert customer service agent for John's Home Services. We would probably give it a knowledge base so it has stuff to reference about John's Home Services and that's just a one-time set up the assistant. The second thing we would do is whenever a chat request comes in through the UI, we would first create a thread. Second, we would post the user's message to that thread. And then third, we would execute a run on that thread. Now, the run is going to get that thread, give it to the assistant, and have it generate a message based on the most recent user's message and then it would give it this little assistant response message. Then another, the, assuming the user sends another message, you'd get that next message, execute the run again. It would again give it the context of this thread to the assistant, and then it would respond with another message. So that's kind of how this works. Um, setting up the assistant only needs to be done once, but you can set up as many as you want. Like maybe you have a SaaS service and you want a customer service agent for your leads slash prospects, and then a customer service agent for people who are already customers who have access to more stuff in the knowledge base. But that's the overall view of how this works. Let's get into the code here. Like I said, this is based on a previous video. So again, go watch that if you haven't watched it before, that'll kind of get you caught up to where this chunk of code is. We're not gonna be using that chat complete function, so I'm just gonna minimize that. But like I said, the first step is going to be creating our assistant. So I've kind of got a lot of this code templated out already, just because I don't want to bore you with me writing the code. So we're making a function called create assistant. And it is actually up here. We are creating an OpenAI instance with our API key, our organization ID, and our project ID. And then here we are basically just using the create assistant endpoint. And like I said before, we're saying you are a customer support expert. You will receive questions about John's home services, what they do, what they provide. Do your best to answer the questions. Very bare bones, minimal prompt, but it works for our demonstration purposes. And then we are using GPT-40 mini just because I like the price on that, it's very cheap. And we're naming our assistant John's home services. So let's go ahead and uncomment this to invoke our function. And then we'll just run node on index.js. And then we've got back our assistant ID here. That's basically the only important part we need. So we're gonna command shift control or command shift C to copy that and just throw our assistant ID right here because we're gonna need that down in future tasks. The next thing we would wanna do, you don't have to do this one, but Let's say you went off, did something and came back and you're like, what is my assistant ID again? You can use the list assistance or rather the OpenAI beta assistance list to get all of your assistants. That would get us the essentially the same response as before with our assistant ID. All right, next let's say we got a message from the UI from one of our customers. We need to create a thread for the context of that conversation. So we'll create thread 
await OpenAI beta threads create. We'll run that. You don't have to pass in any parameters to this one, but this just creates a new thread and gives us the ID for that thread. And then again, we're gonna save that because we're gonna need that thread later. Now you can do these first two parts in the OpenAI UI. If we go here, we can look at our assistants. Let's refresh real quick. I might have two John's Home Services just because I was playing around before to make sure everything worked in this video. But this is our new one. Um, let's see, this ID ends in 4N ASP. Is that what we've got here? 4N ASP, sweet, so our IDs match. And then we just created a new thread and the ID on that thread ends in M1FEJ. Let's go to threads here and then we've got M1FEJ. If we click in here, there's there are no messages, no input outputs because this is blank. We just set up essentially a sandbox for our messages. Now let's actually create a message. So what did the customer say? We're gonna say they said, what services do you provide? We're giving it the role of user. Again, from the previous video, we talked about this, but there's three roles. There's the system role, which is essentially what this is here. There's the user role, which is what we're gonna give messages that come from the user. And then there is the assistant role, which is going to be messages that come from the assistant. So if you send a request to OpenAI and the role as assistant, it will assume that it created that message, regardless of whether it did or not. We're also going to give it the thread ID. So we're gonna grab the thread ID here, paste that, and that gives it the thread ID to post the message to. Now we commented that out, right? So let's invoke our create message function here. Obviously, you would structure this a little differently if you were implementing this in a business, but this is just to, just, this is just to give you a general overview of how this would work. And we can see that we got our new message here. That's the ID. And then in our second console log here, we're just logging the content or the value of the text in the content here. And that's the what services do you provide for our message. So now if we go back to the UI here, let's refresh this and look in our thread and we can see we've got one message here, but nothing has happened. Like we, we can just see what services do you provide, but the assistant hasn't actually generated any output for the message yet. So now we have to execute the run and we're gonna give it the thread ID that we want it to execute it on. And we're also going to give it the assistant ID that we want it to use. We'll save uncomment this and then run our script again. And that just executed a run, AKA passed our message to the assistant, got it to generate output and generated the output. Now it didn't send the output back, which I find kind of annoying. I wish it would send the output back in that execution run. But at the same time, I kind of get it because the status is not complete yet. When you first send this, the status is queued, then the status is like in progress and then finally complete. The time for that depends on how big your message is and how big the task is. So you would generally want to pull the thread after maybe every five seconds or something like that to see if the status of your thread or uh, the status of your run is complete. And when it is, then we would want to list the messages get the most recent message and send it back to the UI. Now for the purposes of this demo, the slight delay in the execution runtime would be fine because our customer service bot is pretending to be human and a human would not be able to respond instantly. So if we take a few seconds to respond, that wouldn't be any big deal. But that gets us the run ID. We're going to assume the status is completed by now and just get the messages. So let's comment this out, uncomment this. And then we're using OpenAI beta threads messages list. And we need to pass in the thread ID. So we'll use the same one we passed in before. Obviously, you could just param parameterize these and say thread ID and pass it in that way. But we're hard coding a lot of this for demonstration purposes. So. We've got our thread ID there. We've got get messages, let's invoke that. And we can see this is the response that it created here. John's Home Services offers a variety of home maintenance and improvement services, including but not limited to cleaning services, handyman services, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then if we go back to our thread here and refresh this, 
You can see now we've got two messages. We can see the number of input tokens and output tokens. And then we can see the user message. We can see it run instructions. The basically the system prompt, the you are a customer service expert. And then we can see the response here. So that is the basic flow of how you would take input from a UI, customer, front end, whatever, run it through OpenAI's assistance and generate messages. And then you could just send this part of the message back to the front end displayed in the little text box chat field for the customers to see. And then they could just repeat the process. The customer could ask something else or ask for clarification on something. You would create the new message in the thread, execute the run, return the most recent message to the front end. Now I am gonna have a link to the OpenAI documentation here. I don't know if this is big enough, but there is a lot more in the documentation that we didn't get into in this video, such as the tools you can give your assistant. So let's say you attached some files to OpenAI and you want to give it the file searchability so it can look through the knowledge base and respond to more specific customer questions with accurate knowledge about your business. We can give it the file search tool and then the tool resource of file search. And then that would allow it to reference that knowledge base to get the more specific information it needs. So that is a high level overview of how you would create a custom assistant, um, send it messages and get responses. If this helped you out, give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows I'm putting out good stuff. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on everything I'm putting out. I'm probably gonna keep doing some more AI related content um, and then if you want to come hang out in the Discord or the self.dev subreddit, talk tech in there with me and other developers, look in the description. I will have links to both of those places in there as well. I think that's about it for this one, though, so I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.